Ireland is known for its unpredictable weather and I wish I could tell you that it's a stereotype but unfortunately it's not. You can be stuck in a torrential rainstorm one minute and then be in a sunny paradise an hour later and that's why packing for a trip to the Emerald Isle is proved to be quite difficult. Next week I'm going on a week-long road trip in a camper van through Ireland and I thought why not show you what I'm gonna pack. You have a local here who is used to having four seasons in the one day. Uh. Welcome to Ireland! It's still great, promise. Come here. <laughs> First let's talk about luggage. Should you bring a backpack or should you bring a suitcase? It really depends on the type of packer you are. Do you like to pack lightweight? Are you going to be on the go constantly while you're in Ireland where you just need to grab your bag and go? Or are you going to be staying in more hotels, settling down in a place and then packing every few days? That really depends on the style of bag you bring. I'm a very get up and go kind of person. I like to pack as light as possible. So I'm gonna be bringing my Fairview Osprey bag with me. It's 40 liters and it's the biggest bag that you can bring as a carry on in an airplane. So it's literally the perfect bag and it fits so much more in it than it looks like it will. Great thing about this bag is it opens out all the way like a suitcase. So you kind of have the best of both worlds. Next, I wanna jump into one of the most important things that you should bring on your trip to Ireland and that is waterproofs. These are waterproof trousers. They don't look all too great on. They're not the most fashionable things in the world, but you can get them relatively cheap and they're gonna keep you nice and dry and happy, especially when that Irish unpredictability comes in. Next is a lovely waterproof jacket. Again, essential, you need it. Don't come to Ireland without it. And also don't buy a poncho, you'll stick out like a tourist. Nobody in Ireland wears them, but we do all wear rain jackets. So. Yeah, and get a bright colour so it looks great in photos. Next, let's talk about shoes. So I am bringing these runners with me. I love them, they're my Nikes. I um, really need to get a new pair because I've kind of wore them to the ground at this stage. But I'm just bringing these and then my hiking boots. Um, these are the only types of shoes I'm bringing. Even if you're going to be in restaurants or anything, you will get away with wearing runners. If you're going on a city break, maybe bring a little fancier pair of shoes just so you feel like you're kind of spiced up a little bit, you know? But yeah, you'll definitely get away with runners if you need them. To keep myself organized, I'm using packing cubes for my trip. I got these on Amazon. They have compression zips, which means I can condense it down if I need to. On this trip, everything fits into my Osprey bag and yeah, no compression needed. But if I wanna buy something, I can. Um, in this bag, I have my trousers. So basically what I'm bringing with me on my trip, I'm only gonna be doing mostly hiking. I'm gonna be outdoors. I'm not gonna be doing anything really fancy. I'm bringing one pair of jeans, basically just if we go for a meal or go into a pub or something at night, I have something that I can look a little bit more presentable in. And then all the other type of trousers I'm bringing is literally just sports leggings. Um, I use these all the time when I go hiking and they're perfect. And loads of people in Ireland do wear at leisure wear. So you look right at home if you bring these with you. If you're going out and about, say you're going to a nightclub or something, you don't need to bring fancy clothes. It really just depends on you. Everybody kind of does their own thing. Some people wear fancy things, some people wear jeans and a nice top. You really just wear what you feel comfortable in. There's no real dress code in Ireland. You can still go to a nightclub in a smart casual outfit. They don't kind of like deny you access if you're not dressed up to a certain attire, which is great. I love it. So unpredictable nights, you can always go on them. Next is this packing cube, which you can see my pajamas poking out. Um, they are Lion King because Disney for the win. Um, this packing cube basically has all my t-shirts in it and pajamas and pajama bottoms. It fits so much in. These packing cubes are great. And then I just have t-shirts. I have five t-shirts that I'm bringing with me just so that I can kind of layer them up. And then I have tank tops that I can wear underneath my t-shirts if I do get a little bit cold because Ireland is really all about the layers. Um, the colder you get, the more layers you put on. Just the way it works. Speaking of layers, the mother of all packing cubes, this is almost bigger than me, um, this basically has all my jumpers in it. So again, I just layer them up if I'm feeling cold. What I'm bringing with me in this packing cube is basically a nice little cardi for, again, dinners, pubs, just if we do decide to do something a little fancy. I don't know if we will, but it's always handy to have. And then I'm just bringing four jumpers. So this would be kind of like my lighter jumper. And then I kind of have heavy, cozy jumpers if I need to kind of layer up. So I'm bringing five of them on a week long trip. If you're going on a budget trip and you're gonna be cooking some of your own food, I definitely recommend getting one of these lunch boxes. They're silicone, so basically you pop it out. You got a lunch box, you can put any leftover food that you can eat the next day. And then they pop back into place so that they basically don't take up any storage in your bag and they're perfect. So I'll be bringing that on the camper van trip with me. 
I'm going in March, so I need a scarf. If you're going in the summer months, you don't really need to worry about that. Any time from May through to September, Ireland is warm enough not to need a scarf. Um, but yeah, it's always handy for kind of the shoulder months and the winter months. And alongside a scarf comes a hat. Again, if you're going in the summer, you could probably bring a baseball cap, but you definitely don't need one of these guys. Next thing that I recommend you bring is a microfiber towel. These fold up so small. This is actually quite a large, it's basically a beach towel size. And it has this little like kind of bobbin on it so that I can tie it around me if I'm in public spaces and still get changed. And it dries super fast, so literally perfect. Anyone going on a trip to Ireland is more than likely going to be outdoors for most of the time, unless you're visiting a city. And you're definitely going to need a day bag. This is my trusty day bag. I've had it for years and um, it's, I want to say by Deuter, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this bag looks tiny, but it's like a Mary Poppins bag that fits everything into it. So I just wanted to mention it here for anyone who is looking for a day bag to bring along with you. It has hiking straps on it and little clips to keep everything nice and tight around your body and not feel like you're carrying all the weight that's in the bag. So yeah, this is a great bag. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below if you were looking for a new day bag. I personally changed my day bag now because I've gotten into photography and I need something to store all my electronic equipment in. So I've had to upsize, unfortunately. So I'll show you what that is next. So I store basically all my electronics in this lovely low pro bag. It's a photography bag and I love it to bits. I'll show you why in a few minutes. And um, basically, if you're coming to Ireland, you definitely need to bring a camera of sorts. This is my lovely EOS R. It is a bit on the pricey side, but I love it. It's my baby. Um, but a camera sort, so whether that's an actual camera, mirrorless or a DSLR or a bridge camera or just a camera phone, but something to take photos because Ireland is beautiful and you're going to want to document these memories. And for all you drone users out there, I've good news. Ireland has quite good drone laws and it's quite easy to fly once you sit a little online exam and it costs about 30 euro. So if you want to bring a drone in, you're good to go. Just make sure you look up the requirements for your specific drone. But yeah, drones, they're great. <laughs> Coming to Ireland, you definitely should bring some sort of emergency charger. I have a few of these. This is one of them. And yeah, you need them just to keep your electronics charged, especially if you're going to be taking lots of photos and videos. If you're coming from abroad, Ireland does not use the same plug sockets as mainland Europe. Um, I can't recall what type of plug sockets we use, but they look like this. Um, so definitely make sure you have an adapter to fit these kind of three pins. Um, they're the same plug sockets that they use in the United Kingdom. And yeah, I also recommend kind of getting an extension lead so you can plug in all your gadgets into the one thing. This one's great. It's from Amazon. And again, I'll leave a link in the description down below. It has three USBs and then two plugs. All you need, really. And then the low pro backpack. So basically, this is again an open out backpack. It's perfect. These little organizers are Velcro and you can kind of move them around the bag. You can add a few more in and it allows you to kind of organize your electronics in whatever way you want. And there's two side pockets, which basically gives you access to your camera equipment as you're like walking or hiking nice and easily. So just wanted to mention that because it's literally one of my favorite camera bags ever. It also has nice hip straps for when you're hiking so that the load of your camera equipment isn't too heavy on the old back summer months so if you are coming in the summer months you're obviously going to pack a little bit more my trip is in March so it's still a little cold I do not intend on doing any swimming at all but Ireland actually has some fantastic beaches and they're definitely worth checking out and now we're in the water and it is freezing when you get in like that is just the reality of it but it's beautiful and once you go numb it's worth it even in the peak of summer it's still going to be freezing but you basically run in you get numb and you'll be grand then so swim dogs yeah, you're going to need them if you're coming in the summer. And then if you plan on doing hiking in the summer or even just exploring, I'd bring one pair of shorts because, again, Ireland's weather is really unpredictable and sometimes it can be 15 degrees in the summer. Sometimes it can be 25. We really don't know what we're going to get until the day of. Um, for hiking, I love these little like bicycle kind of shorts. They're perfect. Even if it does rain, your legs dry really quickly and yeah, keeps you nice and fresh if it's a warmer day. So that is pretty much everything that I think you should pack for a trip to Ireland. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a little comment for me to let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your trip to Ireland and I will see you in the next video. Bye.